How to Knit the Open Work Ladder Stitch The open work ladder stitch uses a series of wrapped stitches to create horizontal bars in between stockinette panels. It's a really nice way to incorporate a meshy open feel to your fabric without being too complicated. For this stitch, you will need a pair of knitting needles and a ball of yarn. Special thanks to our sponsor Lion Brand for providing today's yarn. Today we are using their extra soft wool blend from the Martha Stewart's Crafts line in the color Winter Sky. To do this stitch, you will need to know the following techniques. Knit, purl, knit two together, knit two together through the back loop. For this stitch, you must cast on in multiples of 10 plus 6. Row 1. Beginning on the wrong side, start by purling 6. Then we're going to begin our repeat by knitting two together through the back loop. So we're going to slip through this first stitch here and the second stitch just like that and knit those two together. Okay, now we're going to wrap the yarn around the needle twice. Make sure that you come around front when you're wrapping. Don't want to go around backwards. Okay, now we're going to knit these next two stitches together. Then we're going to purl six. Alright, so continue repeating that sequence until the end of the row. Row 2. Begin by knitting 6. Next, we're going to begin our repeat by purling one. Okay, now we're going to be manipulating that wrap that we did. So we're going to purl on this first part of the stitch, pull that off, bring the yarn back, and we're going to knit through this second part of the stitch, pull that off, and then we're going to purl again okay and what that's done is that's created this kind of braided bar here you can see okay so next we're going to knit six more stitches Okay, and repeat rows one and two, or finish repeating that until the end of the row. Then we're going to repeat rows one and two until you've reached your desired length. And that's how you do the open work ladder stitch. After a few repeats, your pattern should look like this. For more videos and written instructions of this pattern, visit www.newstitchaday.com or visit iTunes and subscribe to our podcast.